Hurricane Bonnie, the first major of the Eastern Pacific 2022 season. Well, Bonnie has only gone and done it and has become the first major hurricane of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season this year with a wind speed of 115 miles per hour, a central pressure of 964 millibars. Bonnie is currently moving to the west-northwest at 14 miles an hour or a compass bearing of 280 degrees or, and is moving 22 kilometers per hour again to the west-northwest. The wind fields of the system, the largest remaining uh, 100 nautical miles in the northeast quadrant, uh, followed by 90 in the southeast, 50 in the southwest, and 80 in the northwest quadrant. This places Bonnie 250 miles away from Maruata, 216 from Carasillos, 217 from El Faro de Bucerías, 242 from Zihuatanejo, and 263 miles away from Manzanillo. That's 346 kilometers away from Maruata, 347 from Carasillos, 349 from El Faro de Bucerías, 389 from Zihuatanejo, and 423 away from Manzanillo. Apologies if I butchered any of those pronunciations there. There are no watches or warnings in effect for this system as well. So here's the cone from the National Hurricane Center. As you can see, they expect this to uh, weaken after a few point, after uh, let's just say 7 a.m. on Wednesday Central Time. The wind forecast from the h wharf is quite a narrow forecast, but they do expect winds of over 96 knots, if I'm reading that correctly. And on the rain, they expect at least over eight inches in, once again, a very, very narrow part of the issue, uh, the, uh, the track there. Uh, no land areas are forecast to be hit by any wind or rain. But uh, speaking of rain, the sea surface temperatures, uh, as if I'm reading that correctly, I estimate that to be around 28 degrees where the storm is right about now. Uh, the chance of storm force winds, once again, not really impacting any land areas, uh, but there you go, eat your heart out. Um, there you go. That's what the storm force winds look like, and on the hurricane force winds, once again, no land areas really impacted by this system. However, as you can see, the, as the storm progresses, the chances get uh, weaker and weaker uh, as time progresses. Bringing on to the multi-model diagnostics, um, the storm I think has is just about at its peak right about now. But uh, again, the deep layer shear we can only rely on the GFS for this. It's gonna peak a bit before gradually going down in a few days' time. Sea surface temperatures are already on the decline as well as mid-level relative humidity. So once again, Bonnie is the first. Eastern Pacific major hurricane of 2022.